Good morning, everybody. Sugar Free VSG here, and I'm doing a quick what I eat in the day. Uh, I'm going to be starting off with a protein um, smoothie. Starting off with some frozen strawberries here. Just going to use about four frozen strawberries. I have a little handful of some frozen blueberries. Doing about a cup of unsweetened almond milk. Two scoops of my designer wellness uh, vanilla flavored um, egg white protein. Here is kind of like a game changer ingredient here. I'm adding just a spoon of sugar free vanilla pudding for extra flavor. I forget I'm going to add a little smidget of this pumpkin pie spice. And it looks like this needs a little splash of some water just to, yeah, it needs a little more water there. Guys, my shake is done. I'm going to give it a shot. Mm. That sugar-free pudding really adds, it makes this extra creamy, rich, just delicious flavor it's so good you should try it all right guys that's breakfast so i'm having a little bit of the spaghetti bake and cottage cheese for my first meal because i'm hungry i had that shake and i'm still hungry so i'm gonna have this I'll probably eat half of this and half later. But yeah, right here at my desk, I'm eating. Hey guys, so I'm out here getting my walk in, getting my steps. I'm going to try to aim for 35 minutes from all my lunch break so I don't get a whole bunch of time to do this and I gotta eat my lunch too so I get an hour break so I try to at least do 35 minute walk and then the rest of the hour I'll eat and uh, you know but uh, I hope you guys are all out there getting your steps in and uh, having a good Thursday today is my Friday I'm off tomorrow so I'm excited about that <laughs> alright guys I'll see you at uh, at my lunch Ooh, hey guys just finished my walk now I'm gonna eat my lunch I brought a ham sandwich and a pickle slice and I forgot to cut my sandwich in half so this is what it looks like just a simple um, ham sandwich on the 647 low carb bread um, got some lettuce on there onion a little mayo and a pickle here so I'm going to have this and then uh, once I get off work I'll probably have my snack I so also wanted to say a couple of words of encouragement as I've been on this weight loss journey I've found that I have to find a diet or eating plan that works really good for me I noticed for me I have to eat every about three hours so eating the four to five small meals or small high protein meals really works well for me and I'm starting to see weight loss it's slow but it is weight loss I have been stalled at between um, 197 and 200 for the last like six months so to finally get down to 194 pounds that's a that's a big thing for me I decided to go back to keto. I was doing carnivore for a while, but I just wasn't losing weight. It was weird, but I had a lot of mental clarity and other benefits, but I'm in this for the weight loss. So I uh, went back to keto. So, you know, you, you can have a, a bigger variety of foods. And I just feel that I enjoy my food more when I'm on keto because I do enjoy um, some vegetables and fruits berries things like that the keto approved uh, vegetables and fruits I, I really enjoy those so um, keto was the best option for me but what I'm saying is do 
what's best for you. You got a lot of people out there that are just eating regular old, I guess, standard American foods, but they're able to make it work in their weight loss plan. Everybody's body is different. Um, everybody's mind is different. Everybody's cravings and tastes for certain foods are different. So you have to find what works for you. All of the things that we learned um, uh, post bariatric surgery, um, I think those are good tools to still uh, apply to your weight loss plan. The not drinking and eating together. I notice when I do drink and eat together, I I end up with the burp, the foamies or sometimes I end up with dumping syndrome and I don't get that a lot late uh, since I've said a lot what two over two years post-op but it seemed to have calmed down um, the last uh, about three months um, I've noticed there are high restriction days and low restriction days sometimes I can eat quite a bit of food and some days, it's like everything I eat is coming back up. Staying active, guys. You guys know the plan. You know, find the exercise that you enjoy doing. Maybe, you know, like for me, I could go walking at my lunch break. On my off days, if I want to go, like, play tennis or, you know, just walk at the park, I could do that. It's simple and it's effective. So head back to work. Probably have my little snack. Um, I did bring a snack. I'll go ahead and show you guys now. Where is it at? Um, this was about maybe an ounce and a half of mozzarella cheese. And then Hubby brought me, brought a whole bunch of these delicious little snack olives. I have two packs of these. They're um, 25 calories per pack. Each pack has five olives. And they're seasoned with olive oil, sea salt, cayenne pepper, and thyme. So this, these are really yummy. They go good with, uh, with cheese. You know, cheese and crackers if you want. Whatever you want to pair it with. This is, this is a good olive. And it's a healthy fat too. Alright guys, so I will see you guys later. I just want to share a quick snack with you guys. Especially you keto, low carb, and carnivore friends. These cracklings right here. These are made by Max. Max makes some of the best pork rinds ever. But these ones top them all. These are the Butcher Cut Double Cooked Pork Rinds. I did a review on these on my YouTube a few years ago. Maybe not, not even a few years ago. But, ooh, look at these. Now, you know, your regular pork rinds, sometimes they'd be real small and funny looking and crunchy. But these, look at these. Look at these. Ooh, these are big. Look, let me show you my favorite time. The one that has a lot of little fat. The little fat inside. Oh my gosh. We used to uh, pick and pull out which ones we liked the best. Mm, look at that one. They're really good. They're not overly salty. These would go really good with some uh, homemade guacamole. Or store bought. With some hot sauce on these. You can eat these with anything. You can eat them with chili, whatever. You guys got to try these. These are the Max Butcher Cut. And you can get these at Walmart. That's the only place I've ever get gotten them from. So, you got to try them. They're so good. And so crunchy. Mm. So, guys. Um, <laughs> those pork rinds are filling me up. I have maybe about four or five. But they are so good. Um, they, they're just so filling. So, the plan tonight for dinner was to either do... I was going to do chicken bacon ranch salad or um, the jalapeno popper dip with chicken in it and pork rinds. But, uh, I can't. Hubby got home. He still has most of his lunch. So, he's eating that for dinner. So, I don't have to cook tonight. But... If I do get hungry, depending on whether I get a sweet tooth or a savory tooth, I still do have a bunch of spaghetti bake left. I'm still not tired of spaghetti bake. I love spaghetti, so I don't get tired of it. I may skip a day or two, but it's always, it's a go-to for me. 
if I do get a sweet tooth, I do have some of these Quest uh, chocolate cookies left. I might just have one of those. Um, also, I have a little dessert that I may do a video for this weekend with these almond flour um, chocolate chip cookies from Aldi's. I got the, uh, these are the chocolate chip uh, flavor. There's a birthday cake. Snicker doodle, totally dirty keto. So we shall see. All right, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't really have a meal to show you for dinner, but this is just how it is some nights. I'll eat a couple of snacky kind of things and then I'm full. Now, we'll see what happens in the middle of the night because I've been known to get up in the middle of the night and eat something and I'm trying to cut that bad habit out. But sometimes my stomach is just empty and it's growling. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to eat something. So I'll get like a little bite of something and go right back to sleep. But thanks for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.